I was playing outside just a little man with the world in the palm of my hand. Palm and talk, ya, Pechangusha, Gamani, Magiabi. My name is Brad Belgard when I'm off stage, and I am in full red when I'm on stage. I grew up in Regina, Saskatchewan. I spent my summers, though, when, when all of my friends were going away to. Uh, different countries from Disneyland and Disney World. I spent my summers on Care of the Kettle First Nation, so I learned a little bit about my, my culture at a young age, so that's a, that's a good thing. I think it's a benefit and something that I try to really influence in my music. Where are they taking us? Who could have done it? My body is nervous. Why? I totally remember. I was in Moose Jaw. I was in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and I was walking by this record store, and I seen this cover of this tape, a cassette tape, and <laughs> It had three guys on it. They looked pretty cool with big gold chains. It was Run DMC, tougher than leather. I popped that in the tape, my Walkman. And I took it to school and me and my friend Conrad, we memorized some of the rhymes and we would just rap those. And yeah, it was amazing, it was something new. It was totally something that was eye-opening to me. My whole life I wanted to be an NHL player, but then I went to this camp and I realized, wow, I'm not the best. So I started writing music in high school just for something to do. I took it one step further after high school and it wasn't until I started going to university where I really, really started focusing my lyrics towards indigenous history, indigenous culture, and really trying to emphasize factual rather than rapping about Ferraris. We made this band, me and my friend Thomas Bruce, and I met him at this institution that we're at First Nations University, and we were called the Local Onlys, and he was really heavily, heavily focused on indigenous issues and, and raising awareness about, about the environment and political, the political issues. And one day we were sitting there, we wrote this song called Old Wood Bridge. And you told me the story about how his, him and his dad used to, Thomas and his dad used to actually go fish off this Old Wood Bridge. So we wrote this song thinking about our parents' generation. What would it be like for them, as opposed to our generation? And that's when my parents started liking my music. I became a rapper because I couldn't afford turntables to be a DJ, first of all. I didn't ever want to vandalize anything, so I didn't want to have a criminal record like that. I didn't know how to break dance. I'd break my legs if I tried to do some break dancing, so I can actually pick up a pencil and write a paper and just put my mind down, my thoughts onto it. Whatever you love doing, if it's writing, if it's drawing, if it's coloring, if it's painting, if it's building, if it's sports, don't let that thought that you're not good enough hold you back. Just give it a shot, just try, continue doing it. I feel great every time I write a song. You know, I feel good, it's, it's a happy feeling. And if everybody could find their passion and feel happy, we'd always be happy. This is the life that I had to live in residential school as a kid. Now it's 60 years later looking back. Kind of funny how my mom remembers that. All the little things that I can't forget. But I'm thankful that I'm...